Hey guys, you've Raj here from the Brainstorm Force team, makers of the Astra theme for WordPress. And a quick look at what we are going to learn today. This is a simple page I created on my website where I want people to leave a review for a product. So a simple looking page, but still looking beautiful. And this is a page where you would usually have or expect this to have on your website. But what if, if this page could be a little bit better, a little more interactive, a little more engaging for your users. So this is the second page or second version of the page I created. And as you can see, it has a sleek looking animation right here where you can add a like slight, I'd say lightweight, beautiful, crisp animation where you can uh, kind of hint at what the page is about. And this is what we're going to learn on how to add such kind of animations. There's a variety of them on your website. And the best part is that the entirety of the process is completely free. So no extra dollars, no cents, no rupees uh, will have to be spent by you to add this to your website. So let's talk about the process of adding these animations to our website. I divide the process into two different steps. The first would be to actually find the animation and the second would be to embed the animation on the website. Now you might be already familiar that there's a lot of ways to actually add animations to WordPress websites. You can add PNG animations, you can add a GIF animation or GIF files, but they have certain disadvantages. First of all, they don't look as good as this animation was looking on the screen. And the second is that they add a lot of page load to your website. And the method that we're gonna learn and which you probably know because you read the title of the video is or eliminates all these problems. And the solution or the uh, identification or the way that we are gonna add uh, animations to our website is by using something called Lotti files. So if you don't, uh, don't already know, Lotti files is a, I'd say brand new uh, uh, library or method or technology or a brand that has invented a way to have SVG animations on your website using JavaScript or I say ReactJS and they're very lightweight and they eliminate all the problems that I was just talking about. So uh, just to give you a little bit of background, Lotti files was started or it was an internal project at Airbnb. Uh, they created this for internal use inside their apps to add animations inside their apps, but they eventually uh, open sourced this and now we have the option or luxury of using these on our websites. So the website is called LottiFiles.com. It has a ton of animations. Let me just show you first some of the important or impressive details about why Lottie files are superior ways to add animations to website. So as I, uh, the heading says, lightweight scalable animations. So they are SVG, so you can have them at any size you want they're lightweight which is very important because page load again is very important so just to give you an idea of how many websites or brands use this uh, on the website it says used by designers and developers from 70,000 companies including some big names like grab or netflix microsoft uber bbc so this is not something or experimental technology this is used by perhaps the biggest companies in the world so you can definitely uh, start using them on a website and just to give you a comparison of uh, the uh, difference in sizes. So you look at the, uh, the uh, animation right here. The PNG file or PNG animation is doesn't look uh, crisp, right? It's It has a lot of blurs and it's not as smooth and it's 50 files. The GIF is a little bit better, but again, it's just 375 kilobytes. That's a huge amount or a big size. And look at the Lottie file. The animation is so damn smooth, right? It's, it's so good looking compared to these two and it's just 56 kilobytes. So that's one of the advantages of having Lottie files uh, as compared to GIFs or PNG animations on your website. And uh, one of the best parts about having Lottie or using Lottie is that you don't have to go and find uh, the animations that you want to use on your website because the entire website LottieFiles.com has a uh, I'd say massive collection of Lottie files that you can use. So if you go to the Discover, we have a lot of options. Let me just explain the business model behind this. So there are free animations. There's a marketplace where you can buy and sell. If you are a designer, you can sell your Lottie files as well. And then you can uh, hire animators. And if you're a designer, you can showcase your art or create Lottie for free. So the free animations is what we're gonna be looking at. If you wanna pay money or you wanna purchase uh, some of those, you can head to the marketplace. And the best part is the free animations, all the free animations are hosted on LottieFiles.com are unlicensed under the Creative Commons Attribution License. So you don't have to worry about any copyright issues or uh, uh, paying royalties to any of the creators for using any of these Lottie files, right? So that's one uh, big, uh, Phew, because licensing is a big problem uh, when you're deciding to use any kind of uh, assets on your website. So that's uh, solved. So if you come to this website or you come here and you try to find the uh, animations you're looking for, you will be overwhelmed with choices. Just look at the number of pages on the website, 96 different pages that you can you browse through. So I would suggest start with search. For example, what I did when I was doing the initial demonstration, I went here and I just typed in review, I just pressed enter. 
And then I found some great looking, uh, say review related animations. And I just chose one of them to add to my website. And as you can probably tell, you have a lot of options. And this is the one I actually embedded on your website or on my website, but you have the option of embedding this. This is a similar looking uh, animation, just a different background color. I'll talk about the customization options in a second, but you have still, still I just search for review and just look at the number of pages uh, the Lottie files return. So, so many options to have beautiful looking animations on your website there and it's not that um, that the search is actually inefficient and just returns a bunch of results most of the results you'll see are uh, very much on point that you can actually start using on your website so you have again uh, you have options to filter by animations or by people if you are looking for for creations or uh, looking for a specific creator, you can use this option. You also have types, so you you can choose only for free ones. Uh, also, the marketplace style options, outlines, icons, colors, and download AAP files as well. So, if you are a motion designer or if you have a motion designer on your team, you can technically start creating these kind of animations in Adobe After Effects, which is a motion graphics and composition tool and then create or transfer those files to Lottie. So you can create Lottie files using Adobe After Effects. So the option here is suggesting that, okay, do you want to download the After Effects project file as well? And sometimes that's made available. So if you are looking for that, you can use these filters to choose an option. So I'm going to show you two different ways to embed them uh, on your website. If you're just testing out this first one, uh, first method would be easier. And if you're using the second method, uh, then that's a, a more reliable way or that is the method where uh, when your page goes live, that's the method I would recommend you to use. So let's just take, for example, let's say I want to add a, a free version, right? So let me just go and change this to free so I can find one free animation that I can use. Let's say this one, right? This one is also uh, kind of a in the review segment. So let's say I want to embed this on my website. So I have few options now. When you come to this site or first you have to uh, prefer, it's preferred that you create an account. Otherwise you won't be able to download it. And once you try to download the file, you'll be prompted to create an account. Just do it, it's free. Uh, you have options for like social sign-in as well. So you don't have to use uh, an email and then remember the password. So here you see the animation happening in real time, right? How, what the speed is going to be like. So here you have a bunch of options. So you have, first of all, the Lottie animation URL. So you can technically embed this directly on your website. I'm gonna show you how. You can control the animation speed. You can control the background color, which is again, very convenient, right? For example, if I click the green, you can see the actual color of the background changes immediately. And I can customize the hex code as well if it, if I want to match it to my branding. And then I have a bunch of options. Uh, I have the O embed URL, I have the iframe code, and then I have options of using this with HTML, with Elementor, which I'm gonna talk about at the end of this video. And again, a bunch of options. And then interactivity is also something that is uh, very much, uh, say, a new feature in Lottie. Uh, but let's not go into that because otherwise the video will become a little bit longer. But just know that there are some options for adding interactivity with Lottie as well. Then you have the option of editing layer color. This is what uh, something that I was interested in because if you click this, you actually go to the Lottie editor and it opens up the Lottie file with all these layers which are inside the Lottie animation with all the color options. So let's say this animation looks good, but there's a slight bit of change you want to make to the colors to match your branding. You have complete options to do everything right here with just by changing the colors. So that's like a massive amount of uh, customization options that you can do and then download the JSON file, which I'm gonna show you how to do and add to your website. So this is one, I'd say a beautiful, powerful functionality, which you won't have it any other kind of format, right? Uh, and all this for free, that's the best part. So skipping the customization part, let's go back to the this option. I'll just close this tab right here. Now, just to give you a quick demonstration of how easy and how quick it can be to embed and test out how animations look, I would recommend that you try out, this, this is for, just for trying, by using the O embed URL. So I'll just copy this link right here. Go back to my first post, where is it? Uh, this is the one. Okay, okay, this is the one. So this is the post without the animation added. So I'll just add a new embed block first. So I'll click this, I'll type for the embed, and I'll find the embed block right here. And I'll just move it to the appropriate location first where I want to add this or move this. So let's say I want to move this above this group. Let me check if it's the right location. All right, it's in the right location, just below the heading and uh, just below the or above the form. Now, all I'll do is paste the O embed URL that I just copied from the website. Let's embed it. And now you see the file is embedded on your website. So this is a quick way to test how your page will look like. This will be embedded from uh, Lottie file servers so technically this will be, or the animation is being fetched from their servers. This is good for testing out. If you want to check 
quickly check which of the animations look good. So you will also have this kind of watermark. That's completely fine because we're just testing things out. Let's say this looks good now, all right? So you decided that you want to use this animation on your website. How do you start using it or embed it or upload it to your server? Let's talk about that. So I'll delete this block right now. So I deleted the uh, Lottie widget embed and now the page is back to square one. Now let me talk to you for a second because I have to explain uh, how we're going to embed uh, Lottie files on a website natively because there are two different options that you can consider depending on how your website is structured. So if you're using Elementor, which I'm not using right now, technically you can use Elementor Pro to embed Lottie files on your website because Elementor uh, supports or does give you the option of adding Lottie animations when you're using the Pro version. Now, you might be thinking, hey, Yuvraj, you promised that this was going to be free and I'm using Elementor free version. So let me just uh, explain that there are actually plugins that you can install on your website, which will add additional widgets to Elementor, including Lottie widgets. I'll leave a couple of links down in the description so you can check them out. So technically, there is a way to use uh, Lottie on uh, Elementor pages without having to purchase the Pro version. But right now, I'm using the Gutenberg or the Block Editor. So what do you uh, suggest that we do or what is the solution to add or embed Lottie files on a website if you're using the Gutenberg or the Block Editor? So as I said, I promised you I, everything that I'm going to talk about in this video is going to be free. So we're going to use a free uh, extension or free plugin for the Gutenberg extension or the Block Editor, which will extend the functionality of Gutenberg by adding some additional widgets to it. And uh, full disclaimer, we make this product. This is called Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. So coming back to the page right here, this was the page that I uh, originally showed you how to embed using the OEmbed feature, but now deleted uh, the widget. So now how do you start embedding a uh, Lottie widget on your website after we've installed Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg? It's pretty simple. What I'm going to do is add a new block, which is the Lottie widget block, which I already talked about that was in Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. So I'll search for Lottie and you'll find the Lottie widget right here. So when so I add the Lottie widget, you can see you have a bunch of different options to choose from. You have the upload option, you have the media library, that means uh, it's already uploaded to your site and also insert from URL, which was kind of similar to the embed one, but this will make, uh, this will um, still have the Lottie widget hosted elsewhere. And I wouldn't recommend uh, you using this option if you're embedding the Lottie widget from the Lottie website because they might have uh, limits on how much page use they'll serve. And sometimes you'll notice that, okay, if you reach a certain limit, they might just disable the animation on your website. So the easiest way to uh, download and upload this is by going to the Lottie widget website, which I was just talking about and signing up for an account first because you want to download this. So let's say I, I just don't want the green color. I'll just make the background color again white. And once you're uh, signed into your account, you'll see the download option. And once you click this, you'll have multiple options to choose from. So you have the customizable GIF option, GIF option, zip archive, and Lottie JSON. So Lottie JSON is something that we should be downloading because that's where the optimization is. It's just a uh, JavaScript object, object notification, notification file or object notification, I don't remember. I don't know the exact form, but JSON is the word I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna click this button right here and it will download a JSON file on my computer, right? So you can't probably see the entire name, I'll just hover over it so you can see it. It's called star feedback character dot JSON. So I'm gonna leave it right here first and go back to my website and I'm gonna go to upload, right? And once I click the upload button, you'll see that uh, my download folder is open by natively. I'll just click the button right here. And now the file is now uploaded on my complete server or this file is now uploaded to my server. And once you click this, you'll find a bunch of different options to customize the Lottie widget. This is the uh, option that is coming from Ultimate Arounds for Gutenberg. So now you have uh, options to customize or how you want uh, the animation to play out on your website. So you have a bunch of options. Let's say you want to play on none. That means the animation will continue on playing, but you have op other options as well. You have on hover. So now the animation stopped. As soon as I hover, the animation plays. And I also have the option on click and also on viewport. So I just usually keep it at none, but you can in, uh, enable the option on hover. That's also very interactive. And the looping options where the animation will keep on looping. So you can turn this on and off. And what you can also do is increase the speed. So the minimum speed is one, but you can speed uh, increase the speed up. Maybe let's say just a ridiculous amount of speed. 
uh, looks really funny to me let me reset this and uh, go back to speed one so now the animation looks really smooth to me and you also have the option of reversing the animation so if you want to reverse this everything will go back in reverse for this animation particularly this does not look natural so i'll just disable this option and then you have these style options where you can change the dimension so you can change the width let's say i just want to keep this smaller i can increase the height if i want to and i also have the alignment options where i can place them to the left or right or in the center and again i have options to customize this on a per device basis so responsive controls right here i can change this how the page looks um the dimensions will look on uh responsive controls for tablets and on mobile devices. so git gives you complete amount of control over how you want to embed these kind of uh, things on your website or the, the lot of animation on your website and again a couple of options again so you have the option of background color so which if i just click let's say the green one again so you see the animation is now the background color is now green let me just switch back to white and also you also have support for background uh, color on hover so let's say i choose the let's say which one let's say let's say again the green one again now it's uh set to uh when i'll or the green color will be used when i actually hover over the animation so did you notice the color so it's very simple so you have complete controls over how you want to make any changes to your website so now that we've added the lottie file to our page let's check out how the preview actually looks or how the actual page looks so i took the liberty of opening up the preview already in a new tab let's go to that and as you can see it just looks so much better than the old vanilla plain basic looking page adding just a bit of interactivity to our website and for very i would say very small amount of uh, bandwidth or i say overall page load a difference compared to other animation options definitely this is the most i'll say the best quality for the lowest size that you can embed in a website so just to revise what we learned today uh, lottie files we learned about what lottie files are how to embed them on your website thousands of options you can choose um, on the website which are, are licensed under creative commons which is very important and you can pay for the premium versions uh, some of them are really expensive or uh, not say some of them or most of them are really affordable i'd say just a couple of dollars for animations and you have bundle packages also if you can purchase so that's all for today's video if you enjoyed this video or learned something new boop that like button that'll give me some encouragement to make more videos like this one and also subscribe to our channel for weekly uh, wordpress news and interesting videos just like th this one in the wordpress space and you're watching and listening to your from the brainstorm force team on the brainstorm force channel i'll catch you in the next video really soon till then take care stay safe and most importantly have fun